Okay, I think we can go ahead and get started. So I'm uh, really excited to be uh, able to share this course with you, 20S947. We'll go over all things 3D scientific rendering. And the, the course is gonna be very content packed. It's gonna move fast. And so by the end, you'll feel very comfortable in Blender. You'll be able to render um, almost anything that you want to. And actually by the end of this first class, you're gonna be able to render this image that I'm showing in the back. So this is the goal for the end of the uh, lesson number one. So I don't have very many slides before we jump right into working with Blender, but I do have a few just logistical comments to answer some questions that you might have. So first of all, just the uh, overall outline of the course. So the, the goal of the course is to take someone who's never touched 3D rendering software before in their life and get them from a beginner all the way to an advanced user. And it's just the, in total, the course is gonna be three classes. And so each one is gonna cover a whole range of different topics. And it's gonna be project-based, and I'm gonna be demoing the projects live. So you can either just listen or you can try to follow along. But at the end of each lesson, so at the end of lesson one, you will have made this image right here. At the end of lesson two, we'll be taking that same image and we'll be learning um, more realistic materials, ambient lighting, um, some design concepts. And so you'll be able to take that and put it on a cover. And then in lesson three, we'll be rendering a full-blown looping animation. And so um, this should cover most of the concepts that you would normally encounter when using Blender. So you should have a, a really good grasp on how to use this. So just, uh, just to mention where you can get all the files, so there's two different resources you can use. So if you enrolled in the class officially, you'll have access to Canvas. Everything is on Canvas. Um, I'll just go to that for a second. So the, uh, I will be using the announcements just to mention before class, you know, if we're using any kind of add-ons or any kind of software to go along with Blender, so you can go ahead and install that beforehand. Um, also, you'll have the syllabus, so just general discussion of what's going to be happening in the class. These introductory slides that I'm going over right now. You'll also have these lecture notes, which I hope that you'll find useful. So what I did is I went through the renders um, beforehand. So each one of these renders is custom made for this class specifically to make it as easy as possible and as um, painless as it can be. And then I also went and added in every single command that you would need, including shortcuts, descriptions of um, what all the things mean, so that while I'm going through the tutorials live, you won't have to worry about taking notes because it would become really overwhelming, I think. So that's there for each one of the lectures already. I also have just an image of the result of each one of the lectures, so you can compare it to your own if you're doing it on your own. And then lastly, you'll find these lecture zip files, and these have all the files that you need in order to make the render successfully, as well as my final Blender file, so you can open it up and compare specific values if you're having trouble getting it to look exactly how you want. So now I just wanna jump into the syllabus. Um, so in here, there's just a discussion of the purpose of the class, each one of the different lectures, and how long it'll take to cover each part. So it's broken into different sections, just so um, it's a little bit easier to di digest when, we, when I put the, the um, recordings online, rather than having to watch through a full hour to find one command. You can just jump to the section you want. Also, if you're gonna miss part of the class, you can know, you know what part to go back and look at later. And then lastly, I just wanted to comment because I know people have questions. So this is um, supposed to be a zero stress class, just a fun time learning how to make really exciting looking renders for um, community outreach or for, for covers. And so to make that as low stress as possible, the, the course is gonna have a self-grade policy. So at the end, I have to assign a grade, but 
the the diversity and how much people know coming in based on the the feedback I got is really wide. And so by the end, some of you have already done plenty of Blender renders, and so this will be a super easy class, just a refresher. And some people have never touched 3D software, and so it'll be really hard for me to tell you know, how much you personally have come. So in the end, um, you can just uh, indicate how much you think that you've learned. So don't worry at all about grades. Just have fun. Try to learn as much as you possibly can. The other thing that I wanted to mention was um, there are two different ways that you can approach this course, and I think they're both legitimate ways to learn it. In the end, this course is kind of a hybrid between science and art, probably more art than science. So a lot of the um, learning techniques don't work quite as well as they would for like a core class. So what you can do is, as I demo the tutorial, it's totally fine just to sit there and watch. Try to absorb as much as you can, and don't worry about trying to like follow every single command that I click, which will get very overwhelming. And then later when I post them, you can go through it at your own pace, stopping and pausing the video, um, you know, looking at the notes, cross-referencing. Um, that actually might be the way that I would do it if I was in the course. The other way you can do it is try to follow along with me. Every time I type a command, you'll see in the bottom, Everything is going to be documented, so every keystroke I make on my computer will be on the recordings. And so um, it's going to be easy to follow along later. But if you want to follow around along now, um, I'll describe every single step. So you could definitely do that. Um, you'll have to pay attention because it'll move fast and it's going to be easy to, to get left behind. But um, maybe the best way would be a hybrid of those two techniques. So you could, you know, use some of the commands that I do, check out some of the options, get used to navigating in the screen space. Um, and yeah, I think either way, either one of these is a, a very valid way to start. Okay, so that ends the first section, which is just the intro to the class.